Okay, so we got here a Deliverance movie review, right? Movie review of Deliverance. The Deliverance, actually, is called. And the film's, like, it's set, takes place in Pennsylvania. I don't know if it even gives us an exact end. And, and, oh my god, I can't even speak. I'm not sure if it gives us an, an exact location. But the film takes place in Pennsylvania, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. Um, what else is, uh, what else is there to note for this movie? Well, um, well, it's like religious. Uh, I'm gonna try to control myself here and not say, um, so many times. And apologies if I sound off. I mean, I'm kind of sleepy, but... Yeah, let's get through with it. This is going to be a really quick one because for half of the movie, I'll be honest, I wasn't even paying attention much to the movie. Reason being, I was just busy in my own world, right? My own mind. But I, I was listening to it. It's so like her mom, she's mixed race, right? I like that she's a mixed race woman. So, you know, her mom and her mother is white. And there's a part of the movie where they get into like a big fight. Because she, like, has a, a past of... Well, she has a drinking problem, right? And then... I guess... Well, that's because it's just drinking. But she does use marijuana. And that maybe that does affect her in some... I mean, it has to affect her in some way, right? But... But we also know that her mother is, um... Like, she came from a broken home, too, right? As and as the result for her mother. Or in the result of her mother or whatever. And, and like... You know, she she came from a broken home. I guess the mom sees the patterns, but she wants to do right, and she's doing right via her kids. But the mom, you know, and she sees that her daughter has, like, drug problems and stuff. And her mom gets killed by the demon. So there's, like, a demon in the house that they live in. Oh, I think they move in the house recently. It has to mean they move into the house recently, right? And the demon, like, obviously it attracts the kids first, and then it gets to the mom. And it possesses everybody. And actually, I guess it can, like, possess everybody all at once. For some reason. And, um... Yeah, and she has a DCF. Or, or what? DCS? The Child Protection Services agent. There's an agent assigned to this lady because, you know, she's, like... I guess she's been arrested before. Like, the state has had to intervene in her affairs. Because she's, like, unfit to take care of her kids and stuff. And... And so, that lady, she's an integral part of the film. And she actually sees, like, her son go, like, all deep in possession. And, like, what looks to be, well, I guess it's a hospital room, is it? Because, um, the mom, you know, obviously people think she's crazy. So, she has to do, like, mental health evaluation and stuff as well. Because, you know, it's, I mean, I, I don't want to believe it either. So, I guess, you know, I can get that, but. Yeah, the mother is, uh, and she's based on, I think it's Latoya Amons, Amons, is the real life, that's the real person, the real person this movie is based on, that lady, and so, what's cool kind of with that is this, um, I guess it's like a retelling, it's like a rehash, no, not a rehash, it's like a new interpretation of the story, or like, it, it's based off this lady's experience and story, and they show a picture of her, and they mentioned that she got her kids back, right? Which I guess she did get her kids taken away with, away from her in her own reality. And what else was I thinking about? I was thinking about something. Oh yeah. Um, is it? I, I found it and then it, I lost it. Right? It just completely went away. This um. It's entertaining. My parents liked it. They enjoyed this film very much. So I'm like, hey, yeah, that's awesome for you guys. You like the film? I wasn't even paying attention for much of the film. It was only the, the end half, like kind of the middle break of the film, going towards the end is when I started. I feel like, okay, so here's one thing. I feel like in this movie, the, or at least the parts that I was watching, the old, the eldest son, the eldest child, seem to have a more central role 
like I guess earlier in the film and then later that role is like completely gone like there's it's just not there anymore and it just ceased to exist sort of and and then we just have mom as the center character I mean she always was the center character but and she kind of like just kind of disappears I feel and she's just not as pivotal not as important anymore right I don't know or not not to say see I don't even know what I what happened back there this review is probably my probably my most fumbly one um to date which is probably um a precursor or something for me to take into consideration that I should pay attention to the movie more before I do a review of it or not even this I won't even say this is a review it's more like just me rambling my thoughts on a film that I only halfway watched because why not I was in the living room and I said why not I'll just sit here and halfway watch this movie yeah so um you know just bet bet with that uh what else can I say I like the demon fighting scene the demon actually gets her upper the demon doesn't even have to touch her physically the demon like it's contorting her body even we hearing her like the bone cracking noises which kind of sounds to me like you think maybe it, it was killing her and I guess the demon did thought that it killed her I guess she did technically die actually but then God's like nah you gotta come back um we don't get to really see God but we just see the light and we see her uh her face like with the breathing so I guess that's her like in shock of seeing God or whatever or like the, having the life restored back into her by God or by Jesus which well, she says Jesus' name right countless times and I like that the demon begs and says oh my god Ebony please don't do this to me and Ebony's like bitch you, I mean I gotta keep saying the name because you just try to kill me um and then of course you know typical kind of like a typical thing in these movies when the demon the evil spirit is cast away the light comes back into the um the fold and everything becomes clear and bright right this movie um another thing with this film i guess it has religious undertones but it doesn't it doesn't particularly feel preachy to me i wasn't paying attention for half of the film though so maybe it does for some people it does feel preachy but for um for what i saw for when i was watching it didn't particularly seem preachy It, it was just there it was just it was a part of the film but it wasn't the overarching theme of the film right Christianity is in, in like a, so it's, it's not a Christian movie by any means at least based on my own observations so yeah deliverance movie thoughts um thank you for listening